Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Nobody Wants to Die. Last time we made our way back to the train accident that caused us to switch bodies in the first place. Because apparently, um, we have ties to whatever the fuck is going on. Um, we heard from the murderer, the, the stranger that keeps showing up on our radio. And uh, our character Jack seems to deduce that... He has some ability, the murderer that is, to fuck with people's memories. Um, and it showed that when uh, Jack was, during the train accident, like while it was happening, Jack was actually killing the people around him. Not entirely sure where this is going, as I said before. Uh, after we snapped out of it, um, we heard from Sarah saying that there's some riots going on in Central Park. So that's where we're heading. I had a bad feeling about all this. A revolution is like an amputation. When it comes too late, it's sure to bring blood and pain, and as likely as not, little else. James, where are you going? Don't worry. I'm just below the park. I don't want to run into our friends in blue. I'm already flying over. Close all the airspace. I repeat, close the airspace over the park. Regroup on 57 and stop them from getting south. I will be there soon. It's not an easy day to be a police chief. It's not easy for anyone. Oops. Yeah. Green Come. could not have picked a better epitaph for himself if he tried. A forest of fake trees that last forever without actually being alive. What exactly happened? All I know is the mob ripped through the police cordon and attacked the rich folks at Green Celebration. Where's Salma now? Where's Salma now? Well, down we go. I love how he gets hit by cars like, oh, shucks. James? Are you there? How many times I've, have we been I've knocked lost out? My vision. Talk to me. Lost your vision. Copy. James! Oh, you're alive. You okay? Did you get hit hard? James, are you okay? I think so. I had a hard landing. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention, um, Sarah seems to be deteriorating. Something's going on with her body, apparently. That's what she said last time. So, yeah. Report a police car crashed near me. Did you literally run into one of our friends in blue? There he is! Quick! Report it. Someone's coming. He's still breathing. The fucker's hiding! Back up. How do you know Get I'm still him. breathing? Uh, one sec. This guy doesn't have much time. Oh, shit. Uh, don't do anything. You can't risk it right now. And rip out his Icarite! Leave me alone! I'm police! What the fuck? Another cop? I'll finish him off so he doesn't get away! <laughs> oh! Wait! I can't Let's do anything. The second one. Oh, they shot him. Up above! Look out! Police! Drop your weapon! I can't move. I can't do anything. They make it in time? More or less. At least they didn't rip his Icarite open. What about Selma? She got to the center of the riot. Uh, now she's heading back. Head south and you'll run into her. How fast is she moving? 
Be fast and steady. I don't think she's hurt. We don't know if someone's after her. Okay, which way is south? What I love about this car is that on any given day, it always looks better than I do. <laughs> Amen to that. You mean what you love about this car? Alright, I'm gonna guess this is south. Uh, don't know where the cop is. Or whatever. Let's keep going. It's interesting to say that even in holograms, the trees are, like, swaying. Uh, we probably shouldn't be standing in this acid rain, eh? An APB for a police car was sent out automatically. Great. Justice to the rich. <clears throat> a great day for scrap dealers. Not for anyone else. Eat the rich. I mean... Nah, don't do it. The road's closed. Gotta go around it. I see some kind of statue. How big? Pretty fucking big. Great. Probably the Mirai statue from Green's exhibit, where his farewell happened. Head towards it. I'm trying. There's really not a lot of police. There's what, one, two, three, four of them. And all these firefighters are like, uh, ah, we'll just wait and see what happens. I mean, there's more over there, I know, but still. Something keeps bugging me. Whose idea was it to say goodbye to Green here? I don't know. Probably the city. It was the last exhibition he sponsored. Why does it matter? I'm wondering if this could have been planned. You think everything that's happened here was also part of Kovalev and Green's plan? Look, it would make sense. Everything happens on the day of Green's funeral. And it all started with him. Well, as far as paralyzing the city and causing chaos, well, it works. But what was the goal? Or a step toward the goal? I don't know, honestly. This is a weird park. As if every shout, scream, and noise in this city cancel each other out. As if all of this was meaningless. I can see the place where the ceremony was. Great. Head over there. That is a cool looking statue. Bro, it looks like the city just folded in on itself like Inception. It looks so weird. Like, how are those staying up? You know what I mean? It's not like everything's attached to something. And even then, structurally, how would that even hold? It's so weird, man. Anyways. What did you say the statue was of? Morai. Uh, that explains a lot. Morai were the goddesses of fate. All I know is that they watched over the life thread of mortals and gods. How oh, nice. I have to take a roundabout route to them. How's Salma? Oh, slowing down. She seems to be running out of strength. Salma just sped up. I think she's running away. She's almost at the statue. Help her! I'm trying. 
I uh, and I game's taking over. Oh fuck. Kara? I couldn't believe when the system spat out your name. And you just happened to be in the middle of this shitstorm. I need your help. Listen, I need your help. Jane Salma's in danger. What are you doing? Don't get him involved. The famous psychologist, Jane Salma? What the fuck have you got to do with her? Wait a minute. She was taking care of Green, right? I need to get her out of here. You've been screwing with the case this whole time? After I told you to drop it? Of fucking course you couldn't. You, you, what? You just said, like, I find you in the middle of the shitstorm, and now he's like, you've been on the case the whole time? I mean, fucking duh. For a police chief, you're, you don't have much up there. You are under arrest. Boss. Damn you. I don't have time for this anyway. Oh, I'm so going to fuck this police chief up if I get a chance. Watch out! The car! Fuck! Good. Oh, shit. No. Not good. Yeah, we're not doing too good. And I can't run. Like I'm farther. Why is everyone going in reverse? Someone's slowing down. She, she must be getting tired. She's walking around the statue. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. Do you see her? She should be out there somewhere. If they got her, just please tell me. Find her. She must be somewhere straight ahead. Can you see her? Is she okay? I don't know yet. But I'll find her. Body belongs to someone else. We have a problem. This body belongs to someone I fucking care about. It wasn't supposed to be a secret. I listened to you the whole time. Get closer. Your liaison officer? No different from the rest. And she deserves to be punished! 
The punishment you didn't have the courage to inflict. Uh, shouldn't you be folk? No. Who were you to Green and Kovalev? Who were you to Green and Kovalev? What did you have in common with them? For a year, I've watched people look the other way. Until they can't see it all and lose their humanity. I had to use them to shake the world up. Shh. Is it about me or Sarah? I don't have the guts. Is it about me or her? Make up your mind. I'm out of patience. It's about people like you. Huh? Made in fucking what? You're all the same. The only difference between you and Green or Kovalev is scale. That's all. Pseudo-revolutionary like you shouldn't be focusing on bigger goals? Pseudo! We will see. So I'm gonna exhaust all the dialogue options first. Justice one more time! I got bad news! Justice is my thing, motherfucker! Well... Show me what you're made of, then. Come out! One more time? Kovalev and Green are the ones who did all the work. You did nothing. You're nobody. You hid in their shadow and ended up tormenting a pregnant woman. I made them do it. I... How long have you been watching me? Who are you? Really? For a long time now. I felt your anger, your frustration. It's coursing through your veins. Not even aiming at me. You need to put that gun down. It's psychosis. This happened to Green and Kovalev too. Put the gun down, please. You first. <clears throat> what is? I mean, Selma, is that you? Fight him! Take back control! Fight him? You think someone's controlling me, right? I... Wait. What? Let's fight him together. Can we? We'll fight him together. We'll make it. Just put the gun down. It's just me. Are you on his side? You're not fighting him. Are you... with him? Are you helping him? I... no. What? I'm a psychologist. I'm sure you know that. You can trust me. It's desynchro psychotic disorder. Green struggled with it too. Desynchro? What? Probably our Icarite. Our mind has... A, a limit. It can only handle a certain number of traumas and reincarnations. Until it gives out. I don't know if I can help you, to be honest, but I'll try. You just have to let me go, okay? What did Green say about Ouroboros? What did Green say about Ouroboros? About what? About the snake and the date carved on the tree. He was working on something he wanted to finish by then. He knew his mind was going. I didn't think that date was when he planned to kill himself. Oh, I should have known he'd try to drag us with him. Bastard, please, put the gun down. You can trust me. Drop it. Please. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, two things. First, the fact that we're not completely synchronized with our body could be that we're seeing things, right? Um, 
that she's moving her lips. Like, we're seeing that she's moving her lips, but the voice is actually in our head. Second, if I shoot her, I fuck up Sarah's chance to get her body back. Because that's Sarah's original body, if I'm understanding the story correctly. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm going to throw the gun. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to throw away the gun. Try the path behind me. You have a chance to get through. Take this. Sarah will guide you. You'll just have to calm her down first. Thank you. I could feel his breath on my neck. I should have felt fear or anger, but I just felt serene. Maybe because I was so fucking tired. First life, we really made it. The second was good too. The third never came. Still, we were lucky, really lucky. I've been living a stolen, anguished life for a long time. And he was born from that pain. Everything's all right. Your time is long over. Run! I'll get her anyway. I'll drag her into the abyss with you as the tool. <laughs> drank the poison. Can finally move again.
Hi, James. I know you won't pick up, but my psychologist says I need closure. She's pretty famous. She's alive, thanks to you. And thanks to me, she hid here in the slums in the first days of the riots. Believe it or not, it was the safest here. It's pretty strange to look at myself, pregnant and shocked by the poverty I'd spent my whole life in. I had a few desynchro attacks because of it, but I recovered, fully recovered. I finally got my body back, and I finally have enough money to get Taylor out. I was worried if Taylor would still be herself after she was thought out, but Salma's pretty sure that there's no symptoms until the first hundred years. Symptoms like what you've been struggling with. She tried to explain it to me, and I'm so sorry. For the record, you were the most difficult partner I've ever worked with, and no one else will ever come close. But thank you. You deserve peace. I really hope you found it. Okay. <laughs> so, it looks like I was pretty much right. I think. Because there's still a lot of unanswered questions. So, it's, um... So, it looks like it was basically in our mind. Um, at least for this ending. It, it it seems like depending on which story branch you choose, it kind of changes. Um, and I hate when games really do that. Um, I forget which games at the top of my head, but like there are games that have like multiple endings that actually change the whole story based on like the the decisions you make. Um, like even um, what's it called like LA Noir you can based on like what you find or like what clues you find and don't find the way you interrogate the, the suspects um, you can get the wrong person and it moves on from there you know it won't even tell you that you got the wrong person until like in some cases, much later on. It's been a long time since I played that game. It, I mean, it's what, like, almost a 10-year-old game at this point. But, um, it, it, it's stuff like that, that, especially with shorter games like this, I don't like when they do, like, multiple paths like that. But anyways, I don't know if necessarily if that's the case. I'm just guessing based on, based on the ending. Um, an interesting story. A again, it, it still leaves a lot of open-ended questions. Um, like, seriously, what the fuck did happen on the train accident? Was it us that actually shot all those people? Or was it me, like, the murderer, like, in our head, rewriting how we actually remember it based on our decisions that we've made thus far? You know what I mean? So, there's still that. Um, we learn practically nothing about what happened to Seth. Um, I'm actually a little surprised that we never really come across him. Uh, or even, like, a mention of what happened to him. Like, is he, is he still in, like, the, the brain bank or whatever? Or did he, does he have, like, another body? No idea. Um, and the police chief fucking shooting us. Oh my God, that I'm actually a little, I'm, I'm pretty peeved at that, that, that really, that stung, that really fucking stung. Um, I've heard this, uh, be called a tech demo a walking simulator. Uh, and I had, uh, I had this 
it's not really an argument. Although it, it came pretty close. It, uh, nah, no, wait, no, it didn't. We had this debate. Um, you know who you are, you fucking asshole. Um, he's basically saying he's not interested because it's a walking simulator. It's a tech demo based on like reviews that he read. And I'm like, okay, sure. It's gimmicky. Absolutely. Um, but it doesn't to discount it as just as a tech demo or a walking simulator is really doing it injustice. It's a pretty, it's got a solid story. It's got solid characters. Um, again, is it gimmicky? Yes. Very, very gimmicky, but I like the gimmick. Technically every game is like that. Every game has its own gimmick. Every game is its own tech demo. Like who cares? As long as you enjoy it, just enjoy it. Who like? Who cares what people label it as? I, I hate these kind of labels. Like, you want you really adamant it's tech demo? Fine, it's a fucking tech demo. Who cares? I had fun playing it. I enjoyed the story. That's the important thing. Um, the sound was the music and sound was a little bit weird for me like uh, it's I, I felt like the sound design could have been a little bit stronger um, the voice acting was great uh, a little weird sometimes like especially when uh, you're trying to be serious and James all of a sudden like throws in a joke and he's happy-go-lucky and he's he, he lightens the mood when it's it doesn't need to be lightened. Or when the mood is light, all of a sudden he'll he'll get somber and dark. And he'll he'll really be battling some kind of inner demon at that specific moment. But then in the next next line, he's happy again. He's joyful. It's it's stuff like that that's that throws the the whole pace not the pacing, but the 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 vibe of the game off kilter a little bit. But all in all, voice acting was fine. Um, the uh, I didn't pay attention. I wanted to know who the uh, the voice actor for the stranger was, because I, I I I mentioned before that I think it's the same guy who does the voice for for um, uh, what the fuck's the name the main character. Um, but I'll I'll have to rewatch the footage. If uh, if you guys are like enjoyed the playthrough, like, I, I would recommend playing it for yourself, um, if for nothing else to see like the different options. Uh, I don't know if I'll if I'll personally play this again. It may be like a one and done for me, but uh, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future I'll I'll revisit it. But not a bad uh, not a bad game. Um, Especially for the price, it, I, I think it's definitely worth it. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much my take on uh, Nobody Wants to Die. Hope you guys had a blast watching it. And again, me rambling about random things here and there. Uh, as I usually do. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.